Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about one new advanced API feature related to Viva Connection Dashboard, which enables us to create any adaptive card and tie that adaptive card with the SharePoint APIs or MS Graph API without writing a single line of code. So over here, I have opened one of my intranet site and I have set up that as a home site. If I go over here and uh, on the gear icon, you can see I have that manage Viva connections. And if I click on it, I would able to go to my dashboard. And I actually created one simple adaptive card using the same feature which I am talking about writing uh, or binding your custom adaptive card with MS Graph APIs. So if I click on it, you can see I can see my recent emails with the subject and the body. But for this, I have not written a single line of code. So that's we are going to talk about today. So let's start with it. I'll start with going to the SharePoint Admin Center where I will show you how you can navigate to the dashboard first of all because there's a change in the UI or the user experience of adaptive card as well. So over here from this I would go to settings and then I can click on home sites. So you can see like earlier we used to have the uh, earlier user experience as we can land up on our Viva connection sites over there. But right now we have to go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center to have a look on our Viva connection settings. So it opened up my new Viva connection experience and I can see this is being set up as my dashboard or the initial root site. And if I click on it, it gives me the entire properties or material related to this site. So let's go back to our dashboard. Now I will edit my this Viva Connection dashboard and will add a simple card designer and will make an edit. And I will scroll down to show you the property or the new feature which we are talking about. And if I scroll to the section quick view layout and data. So over here you can see to enable this advanced feature you have to contact your administrator root. So this right now is disabled for me because there is one uh, property we have to set as a SharePoint online administrator in the PowerShell and which will allow us to actually uh, tie this car card designer with any of our data source which could be SharePoint site or any MS Graph API. So I'll go to one of my this uh, page which I have already opened. So this enabling feature in the tenant related to card designer. So this set SPU tenant is data access in card designer enabled true. So I'll copy this one and will open my SharePoint PowerShell and we can just simply run this one. So once it's set as true, that means like I will have the new API feature available for my card designers. So if you don't have SharePoint online administration uh, PowerShell then uh, you have to download install the module on a normal window PowerShell so that you can have the way of to connecting your tenant with the connect SPU service and later on you can enable that setting is data access in card design enabled or not. So there is a prerequisite just a starting step and post that when I refresh my page and again will start adding one test card or added the same card I will get the option to connect to a data source so now i have this data source enabled and if i click on this data source drop down i have call a sharepoint api or call a microsoft graph api so we are going to work with microsoft graph api right now which should enable us to fetch my recent emails and should show that in a card card form so this we are going to work with so i've just selected a microsoft graph API as a data source and now in the request URL we have to make a, a request uh, using our graph explorer so you can find out an endpoint for reviewing the all the uh, recent emails using this graph explorer you can build out your endpoints and this endpoint which I have written over here it gives me the emails related to current user so because I executed that in my current user context so I got this recent emails for me but before that because directly making this api call would give you authentication error and to solve that we have to actually go to our first of all intra azure ad so if i just uh, go to the home page 
and click on my Microsoft Intra ID and this Intra ID I have to go to app registration and we have to allow the SharePoint to make call delegated calls for the API endpoints which we want to make so I have to search for our existing SharePoint online client extensibility web application and clicking on it and I will click on view API permission and add a permission and over here we'll grant a permission to graph API and it's a delegated permission my application would ask for these permissions so right now as I said like I would be reading the the initial emails or my recent emails so you can just type in emails and you can set or check these boxes based on the your API permission requirement so I have already done it so that's why it's showing in the green status granted for XMIT that is for my organization so once you add it you have to click on this grant admin consent for your organization so once that is done then then you would start uh, accessing or getting the result into craft explorer as well uh, based on the uh, api endpoint which you are trying to hit so that is one number step if you are getting any error while making a, this graph api call in your designer then that means you have not granted the permission to the SharePoint online client accessibility application. So just remember that. So once you do that, then you are okay. So I am just copying this my endpoint, starting this version number, tell messages. And I am pasting over here and we can do a test. And over here in the data JSON response, you can see I got the result of my this api call and which gives me this entire set of attributes so if you wish to uh, refine them based on these only the selected uh, properties which you want then you can actually do a select where you can just select the few properties which you wish to have so i wish to just have subject and body preview of my emails and i just want to get top five let's see so i'll just copy this again and we'll do a update into my request url endpoint and do a test again so i got this now it's updated with the selected properties only only subject and the body preview so we are good with setting it up now the second part is we have to make a design card design so that it can consume that data which we are getting from ms graph api so for that i can scroll up and go to this adaptive card designer you can open that it will open up adaptive card io designer and you can switch that to viva connections and over here you can create your own design so right now the whatever design i have created i can just paste in so that we can directly have a quick adaptive card so right now it's just saying my emails my recent emails subject and body preview because i have constrained that to just to these properties and if i scroll up you will see in the container in the item the data the data binding i have done with value and value is actually the set of array which i am getting out of my this api graph api result so if i just copy this entire or I just go and copy this entire and paste in notepad you will see that the array or the json array which i am getting is starting value so value contains all my these individual items so just remember to have that tied up with the data property to this value so that you can have a right designer or right uh, set of attributes in place so once you do that you have to bind this container in, each, in uh, the internal items with the respective property text as in subject do a spacing if you wish to have and do a let's say i wish to do a bold for subject i'll just copy this uh, font weight as bolder so that i can make a distinction between my subject and the preview body preview so now we are done and i'll just copy this one and again we'll go back to my 
card designer and we'll paste this JSON over here do a apply and I'll just do a quick preview and this was the card which we added so I did not add any header to it but we'll add it and I did not set up the actions as well so we'll just close it again and do a proper configuration for this card so I'll just set that heading as my recent emails and in description quick way to access your emails and in the card action I'll set that as show quick view button I'll just name that as view action again I'll show that as quick view and template we have already set up it's calling Microsoft Graph API that is also good and I'll just do a apply and now I'll just preview this one and this was my card clicking it it gave me the entire or the top five so based on the property or the configuration which I set for MS Graph API so it's my first email with the overview second email with the overview you can put a styling around the designer having uh, some icons so that it can depict that these are emails and can have the links to open the direct emails you can tie up that web UI link so if I go to my graph explorer you would see if I remove this property then uh, you would see that multiple properties which gives the direct link to open these messages so I'll just quit, do a quick run and show you that property so over here we have this web link which can be used to open this email directly from your card so that's how you can design the card you can play around the UI of it but I find it very useful because we need not to write any single line of code earlier for building out any custom cards we were relying on the SPFX custom card adaptive cards so over here no more requirement of doing that extensive coding just do your map your card with the APIs whatever the SharePoint API or the graph API you wish to have and then it's ready to be used so that's it so it was recently released so I thought to share with you all because I find it very useful you may also find it and if you have any questions to drop your comments to like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you that's it for today